I mean, let's be all the way for real here. This fragrance was created with the specific intention in mind to get men all over the world lucky. A match made in like fragrance heaven, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Tip Benson here, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 for men for spring and summer for 2019. This will be a designer edition list, so if you wanna hear my thoughts, let you know what fragrances I'm suggesting for summer and spring for this year, make sure you keep watching. Leave a comment right now and let me know what fragrances you've been wearing thus far for spring. I'm so curious. Here in New York, the weather has been kinda uh, I've still been wearing my winter scents, but I'm super curious to hear what you've been wearing for spring and what you'll be wearing into the summer. Coming in in the number 10 spot is Chrome Pure by Azaro. I would describe this scent as creamy, spicy, and fresh. It's a citrus aromatic scent with a prominent note of tonka bean and musk. When I first smelled this scent, I was really surprised at how unisex this scent really is. Guys and girls can wear it. It is very unisex. And it also has a really lovely dry down. If you're a fan of Molecule 01, I think that you'll definitely fall in love with this fragrance. It's perfect for summer and spring, can definitely be worn in the office. It's really good for after the gym. One of those fragrances for those of you out there who love to smell like soap and one to smell fresh minus that ambroxan note that's in every fresh scent these days. I think you'll fall in love with it if you give it a try. Coming in in the number 10 spot, Chrome Pure by Azaro. Coming in in the number nine spot, we have Artisan Pure by John Pervados. I would describe this scent as fresh, effortless, and clean. It's a citrus scent with prominent notes of ginger, musk, and amber. Again, another one of those scents that comes across really unisex, so guy and girl friendly. Throw it in your gym bag because it's perfect for those moments where you just wanna smell clean and fresh, but not overly done. I think it will work great in the office as well. Definitely daytime casual and perfect for the summer and spring. Coming in in the number eight spot, we have Maison Margiela's at the Barber's. Now, I love this fragrance. To me, if I had to describe this fragrance in three words, I would define it as classic, retro, and fresh. This is a super aromatic scent with prominent notes of lavender, rosemary, basil, and musk. The whole story behind the replica line by Maison Margiela is Fragrances that kind of transport you back into a moment in time. And for me, this fragrance reminds me of when my grandfather would pick me up from school and he would take me with him to the barbershop. That was like the hangout, right? And I'd just be there so bored thinking like, oh my God, I am at a barbershop sitting down here and I gotta behave, I gotta be quiet. Can't say too much or do too much but I loved the smell and I will always remember that. Perfect for every day. I could definitely see this being worn as a gym scent. I could see it being worn in the office as well. Daytime casual. It's a really clean scent that will <laughs> remind you of the barbershop. <laughs> Coming in in the number seven spot is Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. If I had to describe this fragrance in three words, I would say it is luminous, light, and luxurious. Tom Ford always knows what he is doing, for God's sakes. <laughs> it has prominent notes of vetiver, musk, and woods. So something about this fragrance kind of reminds me of hairspray, and I know that is not doing it any justice at all, but it does. Whenever I smell it, it just kind of reminds me of like being super polished and put together and snatched. And I don't know if those are things that... <laughs> a man would like to smell like but I'm just saying like there's something about it that kind of just gives me a real put together sort of tidied up refined ultra cool premium version of your higher self now that is a good thing I guess possibly it reminds me of hairspray because of the super sharp top notes in the opening of this fragrance Nonetheless, I think it's a fantastic scent for spring, especially if you like green woody scents. Perfect for the office, 
daytime casual i could even see this being worn in the evenings elegant affairs super versatile i think you'll get a lot of wear out of this one coming in in the number seven spot tom ford's gray betty bill coming in in the number six spot we have versace dylan blue another one of those fragrances that i really really love and i can't say enough about if i had to describe versace dylan blue in three words, I would say it is sexy, for sure, bold, and overindulgent in a good way. This fragrance is an aromatic fougere with prominent notes of bergamot, mineral musk, ambroxan, and incense. Although I didn't wear it when I was traveling to the Mediterranean, it just gives me Mediterranean vibes. It just smells like it's seaside and it has like this saltiness to the fragrance that when you smell it, it kind of makes your mouth water. I love fragrances that do that. Comes across very sensual and musky and refined and I, I love it. I think that this fragrance is perfect for <laughs> those overindulgent moments. If you're heavy with the trigger, you gotta be careful with it because it is super powerful. Like you'll get a ton of sillage out of it, but I feel like you could wear it to like daytime parties. This is not one that I would recommend for the office or the gym. Don't, don't do that to your neighbors. That would not be cool. You wanna wear this when you wanna be bold and sexy and stand out, so wear with caution. Coming in in the number five spot, we have Lucky by Paco Rabanne. I genuinely love this fragrance too. I have a love affair with getting lucky. No pun intended. Lucky is fun, it's playful, and quite sensual. Prominent notes here are green plum and it boasts of having a um, hazelnut, woody, strong woody base. I mean, let's be all the way for real here. This fragrance was created with the specific intention in mind to get men all over the world lucky. So let's just start the conversation there. I think that this is a really nice scent for spring, summer, and even fall. It's perfect for playtime moments, intimate moments, even in the evening for date night. It's a really cool fragrance, perfect for chill flow. You know, just chill. Coming in in the number four spot is Prada Loam. Now, if I had to describe this fragrance in three words, I would say it is clean, classy, and classic. Prominent notes here are iris and amber, which those two notes are like a match, a match made in like fragrance heaven. Hello. <laughs> They're also signature notes for the Prada brand. So I love this fragrance. I know you're going to hear me say I love this fragrance, but I, I genuinely do. Anything that makes my top 10 list, I love right? What I love about this fragrance is that it is extremely likable. I have given Prada Loam away as gifts and men seem to love it. I think that it's a compliment getting scent. Very nicely done. For me, I like the at a toilette version. I am not a fan of the newer version that they released, the at a parfum. It's just not for me. I'm recommending the toilette as I think it's just gorgeous and effervescent and the way it kind of like pops off the skin is just it's it's stunning it's a stunner summer and spring for sure elegant classy moments wear it in the office you could even wear it after like a gym like a gym day like it's clean it's sophisticated you just cannot go wrong with this scent and that's why it's in the number four spot for summer and spring for men prada Loam. So coming in, in the number three spot, we have Y by YSL, the Eau Parfum. If I had to describe it in three words, I would say it's yummy, delicious, and sweet. It's described as an aromatic fougere with prominent notes of apple, woods, and cedar. Cedar is one of my favorite notes, so I'm probably always going to fall in love with anything with cedar in it. Whatever you do, make sure that you get the EDP. When this fragrance was first released, it came out in an Eau Toilette, which to me pales in comparison to the EDP, the Eau de Parfum. It's big, it's bright, it's bold, it's sexy. Date night because it's so yummy. It's definitely one that will 
allow you to stand out. Make sure you go easy on the trigger with it because it has a ton of sillage. Like don't, don't offend the neighbors with this one, okay? Don't do it. But it will allow you to stand out and it is a compliment getting sent and I adore it. Coming in in the number two spot, we have Dior Sauvage. EDT. If I had to describe this fragrance in three words, I would say it's iconic, striking, and intoxicating. This scent is like magic, you know? When it first came out, I know there were some naysayers, but this scent kind of just set the trend for what every other fresh modern scent is doing right now. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Prominent note here is Amroxin. Now some of you know it and some of you can identify it when you smell it. It is like that sharp chemically note um, that we add to fragrance and it makes every other note in that fragrance kind of project and pop off the skin. I have a lot of respect for this scent. I would define it as a masterpiece and I know I'll probably get some slack from that in the comments, but this is my I don't care face. <laughs> Dior Sauvage at a toilette has this gasoline-like effect. And I always, I know that sounds awful, but it really does. Like it smells like a bad boy and you kind of need a fragrance like that in your fragrance collection. Something that's cool, a little edgy, and smells a little dangerous. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. What I also love about this fragrance is how versatile it is. Daytime casual, night out, date night, elegant affairs, casual affairs. You could even wear this in the office if you spray it lightly, don't go too crazy with it. Coming in in the number two spot is Dior Sauvage. And last but certainly not least, coming in in the number one spot is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Yeah, Bleu de Chanel Parfum. If I had to describe Bleu de Chanel in three words, I would say it is stunning, it is sophisticated, and superior. It's a woody aromatic scent with prominent notes of citrus, sandalwood, and cedar. I know a lot of men have a love-hate relationship when it comes to the House of Chanel and then producing more fragrances for men. However, I feel like why should they produce a bunch of scents for men when they have one scent, one scent that does everything? It's perfect for fall, it's perfect for spring, it's perfect for summer, it's perfect for winter, perfect for daytime, perfect for nighttime, date night, women will love it. They do. Perfect for the office, perfect for upscale events, perfect for casual days, casual nights. I mean, you will get so much wear out of this fragrance. Like you just need to buy one. You don't need a ton of them. I highly recommend this one when men ask me like, what should I wear? What should I add to my wardrobe? I just kind of need a fragrance that I can just pick up and grab and go. This is the one. Also, I think it's incredibly sexy. This fragrance just kind of wears and gives the impression of a man that is well put together, has got his stuff together, someone who's successful, cares about their appearance and how they smell, clearly. <laughs> I actually believe this is the most expensive of all the designer fragrances on this list, but it is well worth the money because you will be able to wear this scent no matter what the occasion. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what fragrances you've been wearing so far. I'm super curious. When I'm not here on YouTube, I am on Instagram. So make sure you go ahead and follow me at Tip Benson on Instagram. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. Turn on your notifications as well so that you can get notified every time I post a video here on YouTube. Love you forever and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!